worried about what next year would look like for them. Our Lindsay Stinger joins us now. Lindsay, are parents and students still worried tonight even after this pause on that decision? Yes, John. I mean, we've covered several meetings involving this plan from when it was first proposed back in November, specifically on how it would affect Gould Elementary. The original plan called to shut it down and rezone the entire student body. Many of those parents continued to say they felt as if their voices were not being heard. However, Superintendent Denise Watts presented a new plan with a compromise. While it wasn't perfect, at least it kept us open. Parents and faculty of Gould Elementary have voiced their concerns from the moment they were told there was a possibility of the school closing. At Wednesday night's meeting, Superintendent Watts presented a version of her. And New Hampstead K-8, which has a capacity of 1,500 students, would uh, take the 394 students that are coming from Gould. A compromise that parents aren't fully behind, but are thankful that their cries to stay open have been heard. And it's still unfortunate that a good portion of our students were not a part of that new proposal to stay in Gould, but I completely understand because we are way over capacity. While some Gould parents are at ease, some New Hampstead High School parents and students fear that a possible rezoning for them will affect scholarships and social changes. As an athlete, me and at least seven members of my football team have all been designated to be rezoned. Starting spots gone. Are we going to get moved again? Because it's exhausting a new school. As expected, it's taken some time for them to get used to new uniforms, new bell schedules, things like that. But everyone has finally settled, including um, parents rearranging their work schedules in order to attend to the new bell schedules. However, now we're being told to do it again. Ultimately, the school board did decide that that long range facility plan could use more consideration and chose not to vote on to deny or approve tonight, pushing that back decision back to the January meeting. All right, Lindsay, let us know what happened.